Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends. And we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy because now it's time to rewind. So this is based on an idea of the Spice Girls and uh, a, a man, I thought it was a woman, but a man named Kim Fuller, who is actually the brother of Simon Fuller. And people probably know Simon Fuller mostly from starting American Idol. So mm -hmm. Simon Fuller, British guy, who was the Spice Girls manager. And I feel like oh, wow. Richard E. Grant, who's so much fun, he plays yeah. Clifford, their manager in the movie. I got the vibe that Clifford is sort of modeled a little bit after Simon Fuller. Bit. Because, so apparently... He wasn't their manager, if I remember correctly when I was researching. He wasn't their manager in the very beginning of when they got started. He came on a little later, mm -hmm. right? Did you see that later. too? They yeah, like took they... meetings with him once they already were like kind of successful? Yeah, because they were yeah. with... It's just a shame. I wonder if that kind of was downhill from there. Like, I mean, mm, I admire, you know, that he... That they were, like stood their ground, you know, for whatever it wasn't working out. But then they kind of yeah, fizzled really out like, after that. Like the movie yeah. came out. And then five months later, Ginger or Jerry quit. Right, and then I was. I feel like after that, I was kind of over. I was like, well, without Ginger right, Spice, like I love all of them, but I love all of them together. Like, I and know. Ginger is my favorite. Ginger was, for me, Ginger and Scary were the ones I looked at the most. Like, yeah. I will never forget, everybody, there was this magazine called YM. Do you remember YM Magazine? No. Young and Modern. No. And no. the Spice Girls were on it, and it was a beautiful photo. I mean, their eyes were popping. I want to say the background was blue. I'll, I'll post it. This mm -hmm. magazine, guys, I saw in the grocery store. And here's me a little, like... What was I? I was a 10 year old boy, and my mom's like, You're not buying that. That's for girls. And I'm like, Well, I'm buying it, mom, because I love the Spice Girls. <laughs> and I remember having it in my house, and my older cousin was over, and she said to my sister, who was, if I was 10, she, my sister was six. Mar Marina my cousin, was little, yeah. Yeah, Marina was yeah. little. My cousin goes, Marina, you read Young and Modern? Why am? And I was like, No, that's my copy, because I like the Spice Girls. And she was like, Oh, but this photo was amazing. And I bring it up because my eyes always went to ginger and scary. They just looked stunning. I think also because their their hair was so cool, you know, the bright red yeah. and the curls. And I mean, all of them were amazing. Um, yeah. But those two were my most like favorite, I'd say. And I also always did love Posh. I was always checking Posh out. Like she just was always interesting to me. Sporty and baby, great, but they never really drew me in like the other three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Posh and her little Gucci dress. The little Gucci dress. <laughs> well, what are you going to wear? The little Gucci dress or the little Gucci dress or the little Gucci dress, right? Yeah. I know. How about the little Gucci dress? Is my dress it too short? Um, no. <laughs> if you want to be my lover. Ginger and Scary were always my favorites. They always stood out. Yeah. And actually, when I gave the dolls to my niece, she loved Scary Spice was her favorite because Scary oh. had like the, the cat bun yes. things and the, the cheetah outfit and just yes. like looking amazing. Yeah. Um, so that was her favorite. So yeah, those two are always and like... isn't it crazy? And I, I heard there was power oh, struggle me. between them. I There was rumors oh, yes. that between nope. Mel B and Jerry, but it makes sense because they're, I think, the most outspoken of the five. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like Jerry had like, she was really the one with girl power and she wore that mm -hmm. union dra dress that is like iconic. Iconic, um, yeah. And then Mel B, like they're both... Um, I think the strongest personalities and strongest, oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the most, like you said, they stand out the most. So I heard there was like power struggle. Between yeah, them. I remember that. <laughs> that back, yeah, I remember hearing that when we were kids. And then I saw that again when I was uh, looking at like, you know, the fallout with Jerry. And I wondered like, oh, man, was that just the press like putting them together? But, you know, some rumors are true. And I could see, I totally agree. They were powerhouses. You could feel their energy that they were more than just singers. They also kind of, were producers themselves yeah. you know they they were idea makers so yeah, yeah. yeah but absolutely. i i love that they at least got over it you know i know jerry yeah. was out of the group for a while but then they i feel like they first reunited 
maybe for the oh no they first reunited for the, for the tour yeah mm -hmm. and then the they reunited again yeah. for the olympics i remember for the london olympics I believe. something like that yeah yeah and then uh and now yeah they're always like in videos together so i love that and yeah. they had in 2019 reunion tour as well spice world. that's right yeah and they um, re-released spice world 25 yeah which I, I listened to that today because it had was some it? new yeah. songs yeah it had some oh, couple yeah. extra songs and some live um some live oh, fun. performances of songs yeah it was fun but yeah Love they released it. that um a couple months ago okay yeah, the spice, yep. spice world 25 that's what's also so crazy to me so they had a movie to promote but also an album and then singles and music videos like Wow. They were making the movie and the album at the same time. Crazy. So it was that it was a very yeah, and and all Crazy. and a few of them kind of admitted like they wished the movie could have been better, but because they were so busy, they had such limited I think they filmed it in like 2 months and but while they were doing it, they were also doing the album, so they're like we yeah. couldn't put our full ourselves in full selves into this movie so they they kind of wish it would they're still proud of it but a few of them are like we could have made it better like if yeah we, we just had more time just totally. more time to give to it yeah it's a story of love i think with boys you should be able to just wheel them in yeah and order them like a pizza yeah no cheese <laughs> The movie filmed in June and wrapped in August 97. You're right, two mm -hmm. months. And the film was was to be set to the songs from the girl's second studio album, but no songs had been written when filming began. So, wow. I mean, they're, they're doing all of this in a short amount of time. And the yep. band thus had to do all the songwriting and recording at the same time as they were filming Spice World. Crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy. So they put, yeah, like it was a... Uh, and they, that's why think the they're... movie really does serve as kind of one long music video for the album, because that's all they could really do you know like <laughs> yeah. there's really no way originally they apparently and you might have seen this too katie uh disney the walt disney company approached them about making a film but the band turned their offer down because disney wanted a quote-unquote disney-fied script about a young single mother of one of the girls fighting hardship to form the band and i guess they just thought like no we don't want to see like a woman struggle we want it to be totally fun and kind of mirrored, oh, uh, mirrored I, on our lives and how everyone wants something from us and right you know yeah right so, yeah i feel like that's like one of the pitches the movie guy does in the movie where it's like <laughs> like all those ridiculous ones it isn't ones like oh they're sisters and they're taking care of their grandmother so they form a group and yes so i'm like this is sounding like the, what the disney was trying what the yes. disney, what disney was trying to put out <laughs> totally you're right maybe so, that like, was sad yeah. That line might have been inspired really by oh, I, I love wonder. how yeah. I love how he Wait goes um in in one of the meetings he goes okay another idea what, what does he say he says crocodiles and then they're just like <laughs> Okay. That was a lot of funny stuff. Yeah. And then it's funny because then his idea at the end, then like, I see, I kind of wish the whole movie was meta the whole time. Because then at the end, then he's saying what they're actually doing. And then at the very, very end, we see the actors from the movie with the Spice Girls on I set. I forgot that. I'm I like, totally Whoa, forgot that. that meta. Was like I'm like, so did we just watch a movie about the making of the movie? I was like, wait, what? I know like, it's almost it's so meta that it actually I don't think makes sense because it's like well wait we just mean... saw them and then now they're meeting and it's like they're trailers and then the girls are talking into the camera I'm like wait but like I'm like wait <laughs> I feel like I'm in a, a new universe like I can't I can't fathom yeah, this but so I just like, I, I kind of wish the whole movie was a little bit more like that where like let's just commit to it where like this is almost like a mockumentary of mm -hmm. their lives you know instead of some of these goofy things which i still love and we'll we'll talk about our favorite goofy moments because there are quite a few but yeah. also another writer on this film so it's it's mostly kim fuller and the spice girls i guess naturally are very we're very involved in the writing because i mean it's based mm -hmm. on their individual yeah. characters but then also yeah. there was a writer who did additional writing i saw named jamie curtis not jamie lee curtis but jamie curtis and then it just made my mind wander i'm like what if Jamie Lee Curtis was yeah, a writer? Secretly oh, wrote for this movie. And was it produced by Jimmy Cameron? Like, <laughs> wait a minute. We're putting right? the pieces together. Like, that's, oh, where, okay. that's where James Cameron went for his hiatus. He was making Oh my God. Work. He's like, but, sure, um, this will be a, a nice no brainer for me after <laughs> Titanic for the last few years. But isn't that so funny? I'm like, Jamie Curtis, what the hell? So. I don't know. Maybe that's Jamie Lee Curtis's alter ego. Yeah, maybe. a little fun fact there. Maybe. And then it was the movie was directed by a British guy named Bob Spears. This was yes. only his second feature film. He had just done, which I remember seeing this one in that theaters. That Darn Cat. That Darn Cat with Christina Ricci, the remake in 97. So Do you fun. remember that one? 
I do. I, I don't know if I saw it in theaters, but what was interesting about like Bob Spears is he actually didn't know who the Spice Girls yes. were. Yes. Like he, he, they like offer like his friend. Um, actually, I think it was Jennifer Saunders who's in the movie as a cameo, yep. cameo from Absolutely Fabulous, which uh, I love that yes. show. Love um, it. my mom and I watched it growing up, but um, yeah, uh, he had no idea what it who the Spice Girls were, and uh, and she actually um told him to take the job. She's like, oh, you should do because she knew who they mm-hmm. were, I guess. And, so he met them um, in New York City to like kind of meet and greet, and, and he didn't know what they looked like. Like yeah. he had no idea, what, which, which is, is like crazy. crazy. But it kind of makes sense because they're they were exploding, but they were still so new. Because mm. Roger Moore had no idea who they were, and he was in this oh, movie. Oh really? And didn't know, no, he wow. he didn't know anything about the Spice Girls, and they approached him about the movie, and he was like, "All right, I guess." And he didn't, <laughs> So it's really funny. Like a lot of people in this didn't know who the Spice Girls were. That is shocking. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I guess when you think about it, all right, they, because because we're looking at it as the finished film, which came out over a year after their debut. Exactly. But really, they were only shooting about, I don't know, maybe eight months after their first album came out. So yeah, some of these older yeah. people could be like, you know, what, you know, but yeah. it's just funny because they were winning awards and they were like at award shows, were, but I guess. They were coming at, yeah, they were yeah. exploding, but I feel like yeah. certain, yeah, like Bob Spears and Roger Moore are like, I don't know. That's funny. I didn't know about Roger Moore. That is so funny. And it's, his scenes in the movie are, they're cute, but I mean, the things he's saying and then he's holding, he's with a cat, but then later he's holding a pig. Did you notice that he's petting a, a pig? Cat? And then there was a bunny. There was a bunny too. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there Love was it. like, it was a nice little, um, he's like, you know, he's like, bond. obviously, you know, yeah, tying into bond. And then also even a bit of like, um, Charlie's angels with Charlie on the phone or whatever, Which you know, they have there's... Charlie's angels references in the movie yes. when they, they, in the photo scene. I know, but, yeah, that's a fun he montage, filmed yeah. all the scenes in one day, Roger Moore. He filmed all oh, the okay. scenes in one day and he had no idea what the movie, what didn't know anything else about the movie. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that is, so uh, and a lot of the people that cameoed in it had no idea what the movie was about. They're like, sure, I'll just do it. Yeah. Um, Oh my, and there are yeah, so many so. cameos. There are so many cameos. There's some so of them, many. Well, some of them we don't even really know. They were like British celebs, some different hosts yeah. and stuff. But I mean, there's Elton. Yeah, I was writing there's Elton, so many people. Yeah, Elvis there's even Costello, people that Elvis Costello, which is funny because the beginning of this movie reminds me of Austin Powers. It's all very yes! psychedelic. I wrote that. I wrote. Um, it's very like Bond, psychedelic. Yes. Um, very and, like yeah, yeah silly Austin spoof Powers, of like the silly. spy stuff. But then it's funny because then Elvis Costello pops up as the bartender and Elvis Costello has a cameo in Austin Powers. So I was like, wow, I feel like I feel like Spice World and Austin are a fun, wacky 90s duo. And he came out around the same time. So it it, kind of they kind of, you know, yeah, are very similar to each other. It's actually shocking the Spice Girls were never fembots or anything in any of the Austin Powers movies. I guess I guess because, yeah, when you think about it. They were probably shooting Austin Powers while the girls were making their first album, so they didn't know each probably. other. And then by the time the second one came out in '99, Jerry was already out of the band. So I guess there really wasn't a time for them to do a, one of the Austin movies, you know? But yeah. I feel like in some alternate universe, they definitely partnered with Austin Powers. So. <laughs> the, what, what are they called in the one of the ideas? Fab. Fab Force Five is that what Spice Force Five? Spice Force Spice Five, Force yes, five. Yeah. of course, yeah, so femme. Yeah, I would watch that movie actually. Oh, totally. Spice Force Five, a thousand percent. Right, um, it might have been better than what we got. Compassion. It's really too hot in here. I need a fan. Oh, what are your favorite moments? Oh, I love so I love the the ending with they're they're on the bus and they're racing to the concert so and there's like a bomb on the bus like it's just yeah. so ridiculous, and then yeah and the, and the guys like talking about the movie and they're like now they're on top of the bus they're like ah like <laughs> it's just so ridiculous I I remember that and being like that's really funny. Yeah. Um, I love I love the like haunted mansion scene. It's so random. Oh my god, I There's love that so you're bringing many that up. Random scenes, but I remember that one, and I remember being like, "Why are they in this like creepy old house again?" Like I don't know, but I love it. It's really funny. It's like good it's... like uh, slapstick humor. Like yes, you know, it was very, and I like, love very funny. as soon as I saw the toilet, I remembered that the creepy guy yes. who's actually Who? Richard O'Brien Riff from Raff. Rocky Horror. Yes, Riff yes. Raff. It took yes, me a minute I... because I. I saw him yeah. and I was like, oh, he's in Ever After. He plays the creepy guy in Ever After. And I'm like, wait, oh. and he's riffraff. Like, it, sometimes it's hard to, like, put things together. Yes. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, totally. I, 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 
It's funny because yeah, he looks but, exactly like Riff Raff, but I, I didn't realize that literally until I rewatched it, it, it for the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, um, that is him. But I, as soon as I saw can. the toilet in that spooky scene I remember scene at that night, scene too. I remember that, oh my god, he comes out of the toilet and every move he makes, the girls all, like... It's funny because ultimately the movie is sort of like an SNL episode. It's really just like good little skits, yes. you know? Yes. Uh, and that's like that's actually, them yeah. poking fun of at horror <laughs> movies and you hear the ch ch you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that guy, he is so funny and how he always pops up. He's in the water. He's like yeah. in the bushes. He's in the hors d'oeuvres at the party. Yeah. He's like, whoop. I mean, like, that yes. is so silly. He's in scrubs at the <laughs> hospital, you know? Yeah, he's always onto them because ultimately the villain is which I completely forgot this. The villain is the editor of the paper, which I think is called yes. The Event, right? Daily and Event. The Daily, the daily event. event. Yeah. And he's so just sick of always having to write about the Spice Girls that he wants to write bad stories about he them. He wants them to make break them up away. and take yeah. them down. Yeah. Yes. Like it's, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you know, then that it really is a metaphor for all the press that they were getting and all the rumors yeah. and... So it is kind of interesting watching this as an adult's point of view because I have not rewatched this movie in oh, decades. 25 years, probably. <laughs> probably. Like, maybe probably. 24, but like maybe it's been a long years, time. Yeah. <laughs> so seeing it with adult eyes, I'm like, oh, wow, this is all like a metaphor for all the pressure and all the annoying things yeah. I have to deal with. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you like from the movie? I, I love, um, well, the Spice Bus is amazing. We already talked about Spice Bus. Um, I love their outfits. I've always, always, always loved their fashion. And I've always loved how they're so individual with their fashion. And yeah. in this movie, it showcases, they, they have so many outfit changes. I love it. And how <laughs> fun when they when like, dress up as each other, right? When in they dress up as each shoot, other. That's that's, I love the photo shoot scene uh, yeah. with, um, what's his name? Dominic West as yes. the photographer. How that was funny. one of his first roles. Because he came up, I'm like, Dominic West? What are you doing yes. in this movie? Like, I, I totally know. forgot. They're great, and um, Hugh and I saw Hugh Laurie from the show Hugh Laurie, House is um, in it. Is in it. Um, um, Stephen like, Fry is the judge. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And, and then, Halti, of course, you call Halty and the Bluefish. Like, yeah. I laughed at that. Yeah. I was like, and then, of um, course, we have Alan Cumming, but he's not a cameo. He's like love actually. Love Alan Cumming. But oh my god, yeah. he's so much fun as. And it's funny because his name is Pierce. And for a second, I'm like, were they making fun of Pierce Morgan? But I don't know if Pierce Morgan was around at the time. I don't know. But I know, maybe. like, Pierce is not a likable guy, so maybe he wasn't likable then. But speaking of Alan Cumming, real quick, I'm going to cut you off. Did you watch The Traitors yet? It's a, uh, no. a reality? Oh, my God. You got to watch it. Do you have Peacock? Never even heard of it. Oh, my I God, Katie. I do. Yeah, Peacock. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you like, like, reality competition shows where, like, people are voted off each week? Eh. What, what, oh, kind of, what kind of competition? You might like this. So the British season just aired in December. Is Alan Cumming I, on it? Alan Cumming hosts the U.S. season that just came to Peacock earlier this month. Everybody, okay. if you aren't watching The Traders, you are Traders. ridding yourself of a really okay. fun reality show. It's it's okay. filmed at the exact same castle the U.K. season was at. It's, it's set at a castle in Scotland, so it's perfect for Alan Cumming. He's the host. He's having so much fun. He looks great in all these crazy outfits. And it's a, like a murder Love mystery, him. but no one's dying. But... There are traitors that are assigned the roles of traitors, and they okay. their task is to kill a different person in the group every night. And then during the day, they have to meet at a round table, and they evict someone. They basically banish someone who they think is the traitor. So it's all about lying okay. and deceit, and the U.S. season is a mix of reality stars and real people, and it's just so much fun. I Check it out. I You might I'll not like it. Out. I binged it. I loved it. I thought it was like such a it's fun on and funny. All right. It's on Peacock. I love yeah. Alan Cumming. So he's great. Um, he is meant for that. It's like such a good <laughs> gig for him. But uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I digress about Alan Cumming. But yes, tell me more. Um. So yeah, I love. I loved all their all their fashion, their outfits. Like I just, yes. uh, I love. I thought it was so funny. This, uh, the scene when they were at the party. Um. And oh, Jerry's yeah. like, and people, are like, I hate when people dress up like this. It's so ridiculous. And then Jerry's outfit's like the most ridiculous. <laughs> And she says that up. she says that as her. drag queens dressed as them are walking by. Did you notice yes. that? And misunderstanding. When the speeding melon hits the wall, no! it's Christmas for the crows. What did he say? I haven't a clue. And then 
then there's the nightclub scene, which is awesome. Yes. How amazing is that nightclub? First of all, I wrote in my notes, um, that's an amazing nightclub. I want to go to there. Like, I know. <laughs> Everyone is it, decked out. And I love how posh. Everywhere, I remembered that singing. line. She says uh, something about the dress code. Like, can anyone tell me what the dress code is here? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that scene is great and very music love video. Because I'm like, we could have cut a, a minute ago, but we're just dancing with the girls. And that's all right. And that's yeah, when they're singing one of my all-time fave Spice Girls songs, Who Do You Think You Are? I love uh, that song. Love yeah, them, love I them. know. And I that's know. when their friend Nicola, you know, gives them that look. I remember that look so well. She's up above and she's just like, like oh, and she's having the contractions. <laughs> and, and then the camera zooms in on Baby Spice, Nicola, you know, and that's when they got to <laughs> rush her to the hospital. But yeah, that's a great scene. Totally. Yeah, yeah. I love a, some of my favorite moments yeah. that I immediately think of. I love, obviously, the drill sergeant you know boot camp i that's love that's a cute that scene. scene that's a fun scene to yeah. me spice world it's always the girls in the army fatigues and then posh is victoria in her army, <laughs> the right in her little just like skimpy. trying to like do the tires and, and do she's the she's not doing any of those like yeah, relay like, no. races no way she's just walking yeah. Um, I love that. I love the, you know, um, strength and courage and a wonder bra. You know, uh, I love that whole thing. That's such a funny and they're weird dance instructor guy. I love the whole yeah. sequence there. I also love, um, I mean, we got to talk about the aliens. What do you think yes. about these? I totally aliens? forgot about that scene. Oh, did so, you? So wow. when it was happening, I was like, oh yeah. Like I, it like came back to me. But when I was remember, like tr before I rewatched, I was trying to like, think how much I actually remembered from the movie yeah. and that I like totally had forgotten about the aliens. Yes. Um, I feel like if James Cameron had directed this, the <laughs> aliens would have been better at special effects. But other yeah. than that, it was, it was, yeah, it was a ridiculous scene. Oh my God. Now um, I'm picturing Avatar meets, uh, meets <laughs> Spice World and it's these Or the Abyss. If you people. actually watch the Abyss oh, yet. Oh yeah. I need to watch that, but it's nowhere to be found much like Spice World. I know. Only I know. Place I know. We had to watch it. Like, website. I know. Thank you for finding that website. I would have had to go from memory and I'm like, Oh, oh God. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, uh, they sing their songs and they sing their songs and there's great outfits. Um, um, what else is a good scene? But yeah, the aliens are like super silly and also sexual. Like they immediately go for Mel B's boob. Yeah. And then they want a kiss from Ginger and they want Posh to sign um, the belly. Like it's so yeah. goofy. And then I love so how later goofy. during the big finale, which is so awesome when they sing Spice Up Your Life at the oh, concert. It fabulous. is so awesome. But that's then it shows such, like yeah. everyone around the world dancing and it shows the aliens like on their planet with Spice Girls t-shirts <laughs> dancing. I'm like, okay, all right, cool. You know? I also love the scene where they're at the, I guess, is it like Italy or something where the guys with the assless yes. chaps? So oh they were God, shirtless. Like, this is ridiculous. I did too. And I was like, this is hilarious. And then they're like, well, we made a compromise. Or what did Jerry's like? Haven't you heard of compromisation? And I'm like, I want to use that word. That's amazing. I thing love that figure. line. But, yeah. um, and so they're dancing and then they turn around and all their asses are hanging out. I was cracked. Like that was the compromise. So, it's like, that's like when my brain, like I have no idea. Like I forgot. I love that song they sing. It's not theirs. Yeah, it's, it's, um, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, do you want to play in my game? I love my that game. song. What song is that? Yeah. I so that, that song, which is interesting. That's not one of theirs. That's from um, Gary Glitter, who was actually supposed to be in the movie. You might have seen this. I don't this know who that is. So I read that in trivia. Yes. In I don't it, know him either. He he was a British singer. Yes, he yeah. shot his whole scene and everything, but they had to pull it because of child pornography. Yeah. yeah. But they kept Rot the song room. in. Come on, come on. I'm the leader of the gang oh, by Gary Glitter. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, I didn't know so, Gary. I read his name and that he was in it. He had like a good four minute scene. Right. Um, and they had to cut it right before they released it, which was kind of good, at least. Not, yes. not good that he got arrested on this, but at least the timing, he wasn't in it. And you're like, oh, crap. Yeah, at least like, they were able to quickly remove it. Yeah, this pervert totally. in our movie. Yeah. But I completely um, but I forgot that. about those, the the beefed up, you know, dancers and how, yeah, they don't yeah. like that they're just in their underwear and the captain hats. But then they come out in those purple suits. And as soon as I mm -hmm. saw the purple suits, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember this. And then they turn around and then their ass cheeks are out. And then all the, the girls are like, oh, oh, OK. Like yeah, and the manager's so like, funny. that was the compromise. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, some <laughs> of the jokes land. Some of the comedy is it works. A lot yeah. of it, or at least half of it, doesn't work, but it's still mm -hmm. so, it's so cute and so family friendly that like, at least you get a kick out of it no and matter what. And they make it, they make it work. Yes. Like yes. they have so much charisma and personality and individuality mm -hmm. that I feel like I, I it, it could have been a better movie. Uh, yes. I wonder, 
to their point when they were saying like I, they wish they'd had more time to put to the movie like i wonder if it could have actually been like like a beatles hard day's night like kind of right. a classic you know which is mm -hmm. compared to often the beatles yes. hard day's night um yeah, i was trying to think of other movies like this and there really aren't too many movies starring a band about a band but like with fictional elements this isn't a very common thing no so hard you know? day's night's one and then spinal tap was mm -hmm. another one yeah um, which, which that's I've also never like seen. Oh yeah, you know I've seen clips. I've actually never seen the whole thing either. Yeah, but I know people that's love great. it. Great, I heard. Speaking it's great, of Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis, her husband um, Christopher Guest makes those movies. He's he made that movie. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, and what's different about that though is at least it's a it's a fake band. It's totally yeah. you know. I, I that, yeah, that's true. The band yeah. is totally fake for that. Which did you read? A Billie Eilish thought that the Spice oh. Girls were totally fake, like a Spinal Tap situation yes. that they were made up for the movie and. I was like, luckily somebody schooled her, and they was like, "No, honey, sit down. We gotta, Billy, we gotta, we gotta learn. Yeah, you. you're gonna learn today." Let me tell you some history, Billy. <laughs> Billy, okay. honey, they were very um, much real. But she loves the love Spice them. Girls. She's like, "Oh, they're so great. I thought they were." Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, um, they are so great. And but you're and... right; it's not a common, yeah, not a common movie yeah mm -hmm. that's a good point because yeah, it's not a been, common like, style and, yeah. i think because it's hard because i i saw hard day's night one time years and years and years I've ago never seen it. Yeah. um and i can't remember i'll look it up right now i can't remember if it if it's well liked i mean i know fans liked it and i'm sure it was financially successful but yeah much like this film financially successful made apparently 100 million yeah. worldwide but like critics i mean critics roger hated it. roger ebert um, gave half a I star i have a bone to pick with roger ebert <laughs> did you see what he said about my girls okay I know he's dead, but wherever he is from the beyond, in the Bed Bath and Beyond, the Beyond <laughs> section, Tell um, him. literally he said, and I quote, the Spice Girls could be duplicated by any five women under the age of 30 standing in line at Dunkin' Donuts. Good sir, uh -uh. I have been to many Dunkin' Donuts in my life. Many. I have been the girl yes. under 30 standing in line at Dunkin' Donuts. And I will tell you, Nay, nay. <laughs> uh, uh, no, yeah. that That's is not a, the case. That might be the line in uh, L.A. Maybe I don't know, yeah. but the, the line everywhere else. You don't want those girls in, being your spice yeah, girls. Like Glassboro, New Jersey. No, honey. So again, <laughs> That's so speak funny. ill of the dead because he he can't defend himself against my against. Oh wow. Me, but... Okay, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong, everyone. What? So a hard day's night. The Beatles film is actually really critically beloved. It has a 96 oh. on on Metacritic. So huh. critics loved it and fans loved it as well. It has a 7.5 rating on IMDb. Oh, so I'll have to okay. check it out. I want so, to be streaming anywhere. I do love the Beatles. Yes, stuff. apparently you'll be happy to know. I see it's on HBO Max. Oh, so, cool beans. Oh, yeah. it is. Yes, I'm going to watch it. Okay. And it's only an hour and a half. Same thing. And it's, Perfect. Yeah, it's similar in that it's sort of a fictional time. It's over two typical days in the life of the Beatles. They struggle okay. to keep themselves uh, and their mischievous grandfather in check while preparing for a live TV performance. So honestly, Spice World is almost sort of like Very a remake in a way. Similar, yeah. Which you know? is, that's why it was compared a lot. Oh, don't you think it's good? There's more like it. This January, rock your world Hello. and spice up your life with the Spice Girls. Spice World. Yeah, but can they act? Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, girl power. Feminism. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to not have a good time. It's hard to not, like, smile at all during this movie. And then also I love the flashback to when they're at the cafe and they're, you know, young and scrappy, but still, like, little kernels of themselves, right? But they made yeah. themselves look a little different and they start singing Wannabe and it's, like, their demo version that was a little different. And I just always, like, thought that was a cute little sort of like fantasy backstory the some of the girls actually um regretted doing that back that um background scene where they oh where they yeah were like oh we were friends and homeless friends because it, they felt it like misled friends about how they actually formed um mm. so some of them were like ah you know because they didn't feel like they were being honest and i'm like well it's a movie like you know it's like a, yeah. I, I knew that they were put together by and, and, you right. know but some of the they were kind of like oh we felt we were being dis you know uh, misleading fans into thinking that we mm. were like best friends, you know, before forming the Spice Girls. Um, I could but I love that, that scene too. I think it's a really fun, cute yeah. scene. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, there's going to be a new movie that we'll talk about. So stay tuned and please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram for updates. Bye.